Hello, I'm Dr. Daniel Cantor, and I'm a neurologist specializing in pain and multiple sclerosis and other conditions such as fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia was previously thought to be simply a rheumatological disease because of the tender points that people find around their body, and based on those definitions, it fell under rheumatology. The more and more we learn about fibromyalgia, it's actually related to pain coming from the central nervous system. And so it's becoming more and more a neurological disorder, and we're treating it more and more with medications that are acting on it from a neurological point of view. Now, neurology is the central nervous system, which is the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves, as well as the peripheral nervous system, when you think about the arms and the legs, and you think about the nerves in the ends of your fingers. So we think about fibromyalgia more about the central nervous system. An important point that people don't usually talk about is that there is so much diagnosis of fibromyalgia in this country, and much of it has to do with the use of narcotics. Using narcotics too much for pain relief actually causes fibromyalgia-like pain and can actually lead to similar symptoms that then get chased down, and sometimes people, unfortunately, get even more narcotics for, for pain relief. I'd like to thank you guys so much for your attention today. And of course, if you ever need any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you.